You're scared I'm gonna crash. <laughs> All right, long time coming, guys. Finally, finally, finally. It's January 20th, and I am on my way to Bibbins to pick up the new sled. Um, I think it came in Monday, if I recall correctly, and they had to do a couple things to it um, to, you know, put my personal touch on it, kind of make it exactly what I was looking for. And we're gonna head out now, and it's a Thursday, so I'm not gonna ride it today, but hopefully I'm gonna ride it tomorrow, and I can get that vlog out pretty quick for you guys. But uh, I'm super excited, I hope you guys are. This is the fiance's first time going to pick up a sled with me. Yes. She uh, has been around for four. Oh, there's fiance. Could have been another snowmobile, but there it is <laughs> on her finger. Um, she's been around for four sleds, but this is the first time, so I'm yep. definitely excited and uh, glad I get to share it with her. Super, super early. I was supposed to come at four, but I uh, apparently drive faster than I thought. That's honestly a first race, though. Yeah, that we're ever true. early to anything. Very true. So excited. What do you think of the red ski tips? There's one with black ski tips right there. Oh, cool. What do you think? I like the red. Yeah, I think it just gives it a little something spicy, you know? Yeah. Uh, this is my, I got another uh, 1.75 Hurricane, so should do some pretty uh, good wheelies, let's hope. Since it's uncoupled. Heck yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. What's your favorite part of it? The suspension. Yeah, well even that bit's kind of cool. The shocks? Yeah. Yeah, these are uh, KYB um, Pro 46 HLCR shocks. So they have like a 46 millimeter um, shock body, which is like by far the biggest shock that you can get on a BRP sled. Oh wow. So they're like super racy and they have like high and low speed compression and rebound adjustment and all sorts of stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah. Kidding. There's there's no shocks on it. That was the joke. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, while you were saying that, was Liv was like, what? Yeah, it's a cool color. You can get a wheeler. Yeah. We're always so drawn to wheelers. I yeah. don't know why. I see them and I'm like, this is gorgeous. Yeah. It's a cool color. I think I love the color. Yeah. It's just a beast. I don't think. Wherever we end up, if we end up local to where we are right now, we would ever need something. Better. Yeah, here's a Polaris. Mm -hmm. Kind of surprised it's sitting here. I kind of like the colors of this one. Yeah. Red, white, and blue. Merca. Get two keys with it. Okay. Oh, you got your keys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
One thing I wasn't sure on, but the silver bumpers. I like it. What do you think? I'm, I'm stoked. I am uh, I'm waiting probably a year for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I touched over here, I was like, sold. Yeah. And yeah. I appreciate you guys like letting people go over I think that was the biggest selling point. Yeah. Was giving people the opportunity to actually ride the sled. Yeah. Um, we were fortunate enough to have some snow last year, which yeah. now we have some now, but uh, whatever they come out with new this year, hopefully we have the same opportunity for customers to get a first hand experience with it. Uh, yeah. I know that changed a lot of minds for customers. Uh, yeah. And convinced them to buy because they actually got to ride it and not have to worry about if it's something they're going to like or not like. So, yeah. I mean, you're spending 15 to 20 grand now on sleds. Mm -hmm. and you want to make sure it's, you're getting what you want. Absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. I kind of just thought it was going to be a renegade that was like, honestly, the same. I didn't think yeah. it'd be much different at all. And then when I rode it, I was mind blown. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm used to the backcountry, the 146, and it, it had that same feel. Yeah. Uh, definitely like it. Uh, hopefully, just waiting for our demo to come in too, and we can get more people the opportunity to ride it this year as yeah. well. So. That'd be great. Uh, but, Everything else, you know, uh, you know the drill. Yep. Um, to close it, right? That's all on you, babe. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You have this down, the fitting of all of them, down to a science. So I'll get out of the way. Musical sleds. My lips are purple yet. Your lips? Oh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Soon. 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 I know the hands are. Oh. Fourteen degrees. Yeah. Oh, not warm.
Perfect. That's going to be the new arrangement going forward on all of them. I just want to say thank you again to uh, Jeff at Bibbins. I uh, usually work with Jeff Williams, but Jeff uh, was out today, so Jeff Bibbins himself uh, actually delivered my sled. Um, they hooked me up with all sorts of goodies. They're an awesome dealer, always have a great price, super great service. Family run. Jeff and uh, Jeff Bibbins and Jeff Williams are actually uh, related through marriage, so uh, kind of keeping it all, kind of keeping it all in the family. So um, super great dealer. I can't recommend them enough. Polaris, Lynx, Skidoo, whatever it is, I gotta recommend this place. So thank you guys again, and uh, time to drive home. Man, I tell you, I was just talking to uh, my fiance, and it's crazy how in 2016 I almost gave up snowmobiling. Then in 2017 I ordered my 2017 Assault and I was riding that while dad had his F6. We were uh, towing him with a trailer that really couldn't even tow him. Um, it had all sorts of bearing issues and all sorts of things to fix. We had our um, old commander that had 150,000 miles on it and uh, now here I am in 2022, and I, there's three brand new sleds sitting in this trailer. Um, it's a brand new trailer, towing it with a brand new truck. Obviously, like, the sum of your things has nothing to do with how much you enjoy the sport, um, but I just wanted to kind of go over all that with you guys and just kind of reminisce for a second because none of this would be possible if it wasn't for YouTube and it wasn't for how much this got me reinvigorated in the sport. You know, like I said, I've been snowmobiling on my own sled for 17 years. I've been snowmobiling since I was seven, so 22 years altogether. And uh, you know, there's good years, there's bad years, but I'm so thankful that I've been able to make the relationships with people I have. I've been able to share so much with you guys. Being able to go to dealers like Bibbins is just incredible, and uh, and I'm just I'm just super happy. I'm super excited. It's crazy because you know I've been waiting for this sled for so long. And uh, I, I was getting a little discouraged, I'm not gonna lie, but just picked it up, I'm, I'm so excited again. I can't wait to get out and ride it. Um, I can't wait for the rest of the season. And uh, just thank you guys again for the support and thank you for, for really allowing me to take this sport to a whole new level for myself. And thank you for watching and enjoying what I can share with you guys. Um, just kinda wanted to leave on that positive note. Uh, can't wait to see what the rest of the season brings. Thank you guys again and uh, we'll see you soon, Brad King. Okay?